some real insights uh, with Common Flow. Today our focus will be on Mumbai, the city of dreams which is losing its charm because of unaffordable real estate and long travelling time to work. Property prices there have gone through the roof and more and more people are opting to rent instead. To discuss both the rental trends and affordable housing supply, we are now joined by Vikas Malpani, co-founder of CommonFloor.com. Vikas, thank you very much for joining in. Uh, you know, let me just start with first the rental market, uh, buying a home is getting out of reach even for an individual earning about 12 lakhs a year, isn't it? So let's just start with which are the areas which are the best in terms of renting out or most reasonable rentals and also closest to the CBDs. Considering that uh, you are looking at uh, areas near the CBD in the affordable uh, rental uh, rental segment, uh, if you are working to a, near BKC, you uh, can go to Andheri East, Andheri West, uh, Gurugav East, Malad East, as uh, as well as uh, Kandivali East. These are the areas which will, you will find the uh, affordable rates. Uh, if you are looking uh, in the Andheri uh, section, you will get uh, in the range of 20 to 55,000. In the uh, section of uh, uh, overall. Uh, uh, Kandivali, you will get 19, 19 to 40,000. If you are uh, around uh, Pawai, you are working around Pawai, then Chembur and Ghatkopari seems to be a very good uh, areas uh, to, be, uh, to be staying on rentals. If you are working in Mashi, uh, Khargar is an ideal option with a uh, rental range of 8 to 12, 22,000. If you are working around Thane, Thane then Majiwara, Manpara and uh, Gurbandar Road are the options that you can look for between the range of uh, uh, 11 to 35,000. Uh, or rupees of rentals. All right. So now let's move on to homeowners or a buyer's perspective. Where should he buy? What are the top locations uh, which give you the most lucrative rental yields in Mumbai? Uh, if you are uh, looking from a buyer investor perspective towards the rental yield, uh, the top locations that are recommendable based on the current uh, current market is Neral, uh, Baisar, Navasopara, Banduk West, Bayandar, uh, Ghatkopar East, Pawai, uh, Kalyan, as well as Dombili West, all of these regions can give you a good rental yield if you are looking as an investor. You know, because a typical thousand square feet apartment in Mumbai costs around a crore and a half to two crore, and what do you get? About 650 to 850, maximum 900 square feet. That leaves out a majority of the city's population. So, uh, what will happen? What is your assessment of uh, the affordability range, demand and supply scenario in Mumbai? Will there be enough supply of affordable homes? Future of affordable housing in Mumbai lies in three three important belts. In the western belt, you can look at Nala Sopara, uh, Naigaon, Virar, and Basai. On the central belt, Kalyan, Ambarnath, Badlapur, as well as Titwara to Ambi, Ambivali belt looks uh, very promising. On the Nami Mumbai uh, stretch of Nami Mumbai belt, you can look at Panvel, Taloja, as well as Khandeshwar. Okay, so compare the satellite townships of Navi Mumbai and Thane on affordability and the current and future connectivity to CBDs. Uh, Thane uh, seems to be doing pretty fa uh, fairly well. It has come up as a good, uh, good, good suburb. Uh, also, uh, from the perspective of infrastructure development, MMRD is, uh, seems to be uh, pumping in next, uh, 622 crores to develop the entire infrastructure. Also, two new proposed metro lines are uh, coming in this region. Uh, but if you are looking at a long-term uh, uh, prospects, Navi Mumbai also seems to be very bright. Uh, it has all the three possible mode of transportation being coming to there, specifically the international airport being planned at Navi Mumbai in 2018 uh, seems to be a bright spot. Also, the CITCO is uh, uh, putting in a good investment to pay this is a planned city. Um, there is a new uh, railway line being proposed as well as new metro corridor. So, Navi Mumbai overall from a uh, long-term perspective looks very bright. Vikas Malpani, thank you very much for joining us. Now